Yeah, we've got like Skybox. I mean, we can make it Fox, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's horrible wow it is anytime true. you see the uv the, the like anytime you see the diffuse map just like straight up it's just i awful. think i think this is the chitinous creature oh god jeff i i totally you forgot know, you do to not want to be like here. icarus that flies floats too high oh jesus christ <laughs> oh my gosh so we got our dog uh, <laughs> and we got our crab monster and we can shoot him Holy shit! That's the worst. That's... Let's put in some cop cars too. Oh god, it's idling. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's uh. horrible. Uh. I feel like they shouldn't do anything for Fourth of July this weekend. Yeah, you're gonna start any wildfires? <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's well, not bad. only do I have the Fourth of July celebration, but I've got a couple of gender reveal parties I'm gonna go to. Oh man. And those are the best done. The gender in, reveal is America. Exactly. Those, those are best done in the hills. <laughs> amongst yeah, fuel, you, basically. You want to be in the driest place you can yeah. to do your gender reveals, obviously. Yeah, because the pyrotechnics just aren't, they don't quite have that flavor otherwise. That sense, it's, uh, that sense of risk. It's economical. You're, you're getting more, more bang for your buck, literally. <laughs> exactly. I think did you did you? I think it's I think it's like the 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 risk of arson that gives everybody the hard on when they're when they're at those parties. I was gonna say, did you see the LAPD detonating a bunch of illegal fireworks? What? No. Oh, uh, they accidentally started. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, so the uh, blah, LAPD detonate fireworks. They tried to blow up some fireworks. Uh, oh, no. and blew up, blew up a small city block. No. Oh, and it, and it's on video, yeah. Oh, oh, this was like a bomb squad operation. Is that your? Is that what yeah, you're they found a lot of extra fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> and they're Why and they're they like do that. <laughs> well, and their explanation is we don't know how the improvised explosive devices went off, but uh. They clearly put them in a truck and wanted to set off the fireworks. Like, there's no, oh there's no other explanation. Uh, very stupid. These are like the Dukes of Hazard cops, right? Yeah, but in LA. Yeah, well, which, which like, same difference. All cops. Yeah. Tell me about the new safari that you're using right now. Oh, this is the um, this is the technology preview, which you can just download uh, without updating your OS. Very fancy. Yeah, it's got it's got the new pad tab bar. It's got okay. uh, Web WebGL two on by default, so okay. no more hacks for that shit. Okay, uh, which I think means it comes with a different set of experimental features in here. Okay, that means you just have to turn on Web GPU because it's not on by default. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but WebGL two is, but what is Web GPU? Web GPU is the, the the like the kind of uh, metal slash Vulcan for browser. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Okay. So would this make our WebGL implementation even faster? Uh, it would definitely add more code because there's even more objects that you have to connect together. Beautiful. Yes. Great. I refuse. Uh, I'm just here for the, for the new tabs. The new tabs are actually like, these are fine. They're cool. Yeah. I actually quite like the new Firefox tabs. I like them. Same, uh, same, same stitch, right? Yeah. Uh, the Firefox ones are a little more. Uh, actually, you don't have the new, new Firefox. So. As I say, guess guess who doesn't run Firefox uh, every day? <laughs> let's see. Let's see if it wants to. You don't need to worry about. It. Okay. Oh, you're doing it. You're just. I mean, I mean, I'll I'll let it do its thing. Okay. Honestly, it's uh, it updated and it's still too far behind. So. Oh. Is this the thing it it had a chance. Upgrade? Oh, you're going to upgrade like a million times. Yeah. Well, it tried. Yeah, so it that's tried. that's all. Update. No. Sorry, Firefox. Safari beat you. Yeah. Um, I did this and I updated to iOS 15, which is like actually okay. Oh, Pretty nice. Nice. Yeah, I like the. Um, it has the notification modality, where from nine to five only Slack and like two people can get through my text messages, which is oh, great. I like it. Yeah, it like blocks my parents from texting or calling me while I'm at work, which actually happens a lot because they're on a different time zone. Hey, Dom. Hey. Do you notice that the walls look kind of distorted in Unity? 
Uh, yeah, I have noticed that. Um, is that the our, same with, shit that we were dealing with? With our perspective camera? I think so. Yeah. Um, now, one, one way we could fix this is we could just pop into the camera and go to ortho and just... Oh, sorry. I have it set to depth only. Um, but we could just roll around like this. Oh, yeah. Which, like... <laughs> it's so it's so disorienting in ortho when you try to dolly in or zoom in and you're like, I can't get any closer. And then... And then you yeah, realize... It's got, it's got a near plane issue as well. Yeah. But ortho's pretty cool. Really? It looks neat. Um, you can... Oh, is it... Why can't I dolly in any closer? It's this thing. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in ortho, there's no depth. Right. What a good, what a good little doggo. Yeah. Uh, I was having a lot of fun with uh, don't clear as well, which just... Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> I love that I can just put it put it oh, in God, art mode. Yeah. Too many drugs. <laughs> it just paint in the background. Yeah. I've, I've been enjoying Unity so delightful. far. It's got a lot. It's got a. It's got like a, a like a reasonably understandable paradigm. The power. The power ain't bad, right? Yeah. Um, yep. But yeah, our walls. Our walls are a little distorted. Mm-hmm. Oh man, sorry. I was I was fucking with the camera. I was just having fun. So maybe we Let's... didn't screw up our math in Manchester, and we just have a weird perspective. Or perspective is weird. Like, is it is perspective from a flyover camera just an awkward thing to do? Like, I think it might be. It, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense in Doom. Like, I want to see down the hallway, but yeah. I think we I think we actually might want ortho. I mean, we can ortho. The problem is you can't see that much in ortho. Mm hmm. Unless you zoom way out, right? Uh, or yeah, or we, you know, I mean, you, you can get a deeper, a deeper angle, but yeah, I feel ya. Yeah. But like, this ain't bad. This is this is not much worse than what the dog was it's doing true. before. It is so. true. I thought of a really good control scheme, uh, if we have to do twin stick, uh, on a yeah. gamepad. Okay. So, uh. We have twin stick where the turret goes wherever the right stick is going. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can imagine that might have accuracy issues, right? I can imagine, yeah. Um, oh, shit. By the way, I, I have my dual shock plugged into my computer and it just fucking oh, works. Oh, it just fucking works. That's amazing. <laughs> well, except what's what's the trigger? I, I don't know. Huh. Okay. Oh, because we're, we're looking for mouse instead of like. Yeah, fire. We're, we're explicitly looking for mouse clicks. I mean, we, we oh, just need to add a layer of indirection that can handle multiple inputs. I um, gotta say, this is this is way better with an analog stick. <laughs> <laughs> WASD sucks, um, but but it's got a whole generation of, of, of PC gamers convinced that WASD is good. <laughs> um, so, the other thing I thought of is like, well, how would we get a cursor? Uh, on the screen so i thought mm -hmm. okay imagine that you're twin sticking it and then uh right stick is to fire mm -hmm. um but then if you hold left trigger you actually get a crosshair on the screen mm -hmm. and moving the right stick actually moves the crosshair around in screen space like not just not just in a circle but actually forward and back too like a pointer uh it basically turns it into a cursor yeah a cursor oh. a, a, and then it's an analog trigger, so that I don't know. Can we rely on the fact that all triggers are analog? Is it analog on a, on on the switch? Mm, I don't know that if it is. I got a switch. I'm not here. sure. Yeah, it feels yeah. pretty. It this feels very binary. Yep, I think the switch controllers yeah, okay. are switch triggers are buttons. That's too bad. Bumper, bumper, because I I thought maybe like what you could do with PS Five especially is that the tighter mm -hmm. that you you pull the left trigger mm -hmm. uh the faster it moves or it has control or, yeah. or the slower the cursor goes mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. almost as if you're kind of like if you pull the left trigger down you have the most precision but the least amount of agility in the cursor yep yep i was playing um i was playing ratchet and clank mm -hmm. uh because a, a friend had me buy it for cat sitting for for me um, but it has really good uh, half trigger pulls, like better than Returnal actually, which is really interesting. I didn't like the ones in Returnal. They, the the one in Returnal felt a little bit snaggy I, to me. I my half trigger pull was 
I always just full triggered on that one. Like I couldn't actually. Uh, Same. I would always aim. accidentally do the superpower because I, yeah. I was just pulling a trigger too hard. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, on Ratchet and Clank, it's actually it's great, and it's uh, the right trigger is half pull to aim, full pull to fire, which is really clever and works great. So I was again? I was surprised. Uh, so like the the right trigger. Okay. You you pull it halfway to aim some things, and pull it all the way down to fire. So like what's normally your fire trigger has a half click. Oh, so what does the left trigger do? Um. Nothing. It's a great question. Because usually it's left trigger to aim, right, and then right trigger to fire. Yeah, I think it gives you like zoom. I think I think it does the zoom thing, but some a lot of half of the weapons in that game have a like pull down to show their like throwing arc. Oh, okay. And, and it's interesting. I found I found it just completely easy to hit in a way that the Returnal one was absolutely impossible to do. Oh, yeah. Um. So I'm like I'm more convinced about that as a input than I was. That's awesome. Uh, I've heard yeah. Ratchet and Clank is uh, amazing technologically. Yeah, it's really stupid otherwise. Okay, <laughs> but but it's pretty. Um, I, that was all the impression that I I got from Ratchet Ratchet and Clank because it was just kind of this smorgasbord of aesthetic that wasn't necessarily that endearing or interesting. What well, uh. Did you did you ever enjoy Spyro the the Dragon? Uh, no, I never played it. Okay, because it, it's basically exactly the same thing, but space. Um, okay, and, and Spyro is also a. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, I think they're both. I think they're both the same. Um, Insomniac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why aren't you taking the full screen? Weird. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like that could have responsibly laid itself out. Uh, I think that's just but, Google, actually. I think that's Google's bad. Really? Yeah, they just assume a minimum width. Yeah. Safari, Safari might be it might be doing some like desktop only things. Well, huh, Spyro. The same the thing dragon. happened to me. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Same yeah. thing happened to me in my in Chrome. So Google just. Uh, Weird. Yeah. Bad actor. Not not mobile friendly. Yeah. Dark patterns. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I was gonna say, like all all of these are kind of the same mishmash, two D uh, uh, PS two platformer three D thing, that is sort of like Mario sixty four, but not. Um, oh yeah, I I just read an article about like essentially the the death of the mascot platformer they called it, and it was mm-hmm. that. Basically, the same Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Jack and Daxter, uh, Crash uh, Bandicoot, Ban- Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, it's just like the whole the genre of like cartoony Mario sixty four ripoffs, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Didn't Crash just get? They made. They just made a brand new Crash too. It's weird. I never Did played they? any of these. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, they Naughty Dog just went to basically Uncharted as their. Mm-hmm. Like why? Do I do I want to be a Bandicoot? I don't know. This one I feel like was maximally weird aesthetic wise. Like, okay. there, look at all this shit going on here. You're a thing. There's fucking tiki masks. Yeah. There's a there's a punk rabbit back here, man. I don't know. <laughs> it looks kind of like furry kink, to be honest. Uh, yeah, but like, is is this any different than Ratchet and Clank? No, I mean it's like it's 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 all like one continuum of game, right? Yeah, yeah, they really are. Um, but it's, it looks really good. Yeah, yeah. Like you're watching the game, and like these characters have like little fur waving in the wind, and I'm like, okay, sure. Like right. you made a you made a Pixar movie. God, this one was great. How can I love Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> <laughs> these... So this was good. You're telling me. Uh, yeah, because it's got that, uh, it's got that Donkey Kong vibe because it's rare. It's like post yeah. Donkey Kong. They made they made this right. Conquers. I forgot about Conquers. Oh Conquers man, as well. Conquers bad never, hair day. Yep. Never never played Jack. So so many weird ones. So yeah, whichever whichever character platform you ended up with, I think most people was just Mario. Yeah, I think that was it for me. Which is awesome. <laughs> 
I, you know, I actually played like a few levels of Mario Odyssey, um, and I just couldn't get into it. Part of it, maybe it's because I was playing with my nephew, mm. and I can't enjoy video games when I'm playing with small children, but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know, Mario Odyssey just felt very filler-ish to me, I, I, and that's probably really unfair, but it just felt that way. I I really liked that game, but it was... It was weird and like kind of uneven. It was a very bumpy road of, okay. of content. Yeah. Um, it felt like they took the the entire kitchen sink and they're like, to go to town. It's very maximalist game design for sure. Yeah, but, but but by the end it was like extremely challenging and had like made you use like there's there's like eight hundred stars in that game. Like oh gosh, I didn't even know how far into the game I was. I think I had gotten. I think I got to the city part. Yeah. Is that, that's not near the end, is it? I feel like that's like halfway through. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this, and it's weird. The city is weird. There's humans that aren't Mario shaped. Cause it's very weird. It's yeah. incredibly, uh, I feel like that was the one where the art direction went out the window and they're just like, it's New York, but, uh, Mario still looks like Mario. Yeah. It, I, I think it was very intentionally designed. It just, yeah, I, I, it, it I wish weird. they had a it little like, more restraint. Yeah, I, I enjoyed when it got really challenging though. Like, okay, some some of those. I think once you sort of like blow through the like, the baby version of the game. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Once you get once you get through and like beat Bowser and shit, every level gets like ten times harder, and has a bunch of weird secret challenges. And they built like this really interesting puzzly box kind of does thing. it not have like a really weird ending um uh it ends on the moon okay and bowser and mario trying to marry peach it's all wedding themed it was a weird game yeah yeah and then peach turns them both down right yeah and that's how yeah, we that's... got bowsette right uh no bowsette is uh, this is a risky google <laughs> Wow, Wikipedia. Yeah, because it was from it was from like a it was from, um, it was from like a, a comic that where like ah shit. There's a there's a power up. Here you go. It's it's this the super crown. Mm-hmm. That turns. God, I it don't remember. Turns toad into like toad toad into toadette. Yeah. Uh-huh. So then, so then everyone got really thirsty for Bowser, uh-huh. which is yes, just a a real choice that the internet made. I remember right around the time that that happened, I went to Mexico City, and there was this like giant Bowser graffiti mural in Mexico City, and they and someone had clearly just made it in the last month because like Bowser didn't exist <laughs> before that. Or Koopa Hime, I love it. This is literally quite possibly the horniest Wikipedia page I've ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was September 2018. I went to I went to Mexico City in October of 2018. It was right before Dia de los Muertos. So like that 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 was so popular that within weeks th- there was a wall in Mexico City covered with that, which was That's amazing. So funny. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> there was some cool shit in Mexico City. Like that that same area also had a giant Street Fighter mural as well. So clearly, there oh, was that's like, cool. Yeah, there I would really gamers. like to go. Yeah, oh, Mexico City is amazing. Mm. I've only ever been to Cancun in Mexico. I had to cancel a couple, uh, like Puerto Vallarta trip. Yeah, Mexico City sounds rad. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad you got to experience Bowser in its prime, prime meme time. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad I ended up on Wikipedia and not Know Your Meme for that, because Know Your Meme would be rough. Okay. Yeah. I, I remember about yeah, that. There, yeah, there would be tits. <laughs> I it, mm, it, it, just, it was weird. It was yeah. a weird, weird one. It, it's uh, Lady Lady Dimitrescu all over again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We've had some risque Mario imagery on this stream before, though, right? Like when we when we went for all the, like the sort of naturalistic Mario drawings. The the Mario crushing the Goombas, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, uh, we, the the riskiest though is this guy. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they made this. Dennis Hopper, yeah. I actually really like this movie. <laughs> they found it's the just... right actor. I mean, it was, it's kind of Lynchian, the whole idea of it. It's kind of a racer head, right? And... Yeah, I mean, 
is it not was it not a david lynch movie or is it cronenberg it's just uh, someone who's it, not it very either of those fe- people. it feels like right in that pocket for sure yeah i love that it's just not either of them because i would have guessed both yeah Oh, it's the Max Headroom guy? Okay, wait a minute. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, directed to- Talking Heads videos, sure. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm into it. The whole thing was Max Headroom. See, now I want to watch it again. I, the Mario movie is a great movie. Oh, all right. What's this dog doing? Yeah. Um, gosh, dude, I spent I spent a lot of time trying to get that Blender animation to work. Uh, it, it was not having it. Is the Is the asset corrupt? Is that what we can well continue. what does it look like in blender yeah yeah i can i can show you yeah and i and i did some i did some searching okay so like in, in blender totally good um and for x are you like getting good at blender low-key uh no okay but, but i'm but i'm trying i'm trying to learn yeah um what i learned is that you don't you only export the armature and the mesh makes sense is the armature the rigging is that the idea yeah it's like, the, it's like this the skinning and boning basically exactly and there's like actually multiple rigs in this thing so like uh per- perhaps this is busted um and then for oh is it maybe like <laughs> using information from one rig and then using information from the other at this like maybe so yeah um and for unity you're supposed to turn off nla strips and force start end and add leaf bones don't know why okay um uh i don't think add leaf bones got checked there so no no you're supposed to turn it's supposed oh, to be supposed to i to unchecked off. it okay yeah so that that is what i have learned is the magic unity formula okay but when i import this this little sucker it's still a mess um let's see i can drop it into our fbx folder I should stop the game. You're in green mode. And I love that, that we can just drag and drop FBX. Um, it's really cool. Yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah, sadly, he's still not quite. Uh, yeah. He's still having a bit of a bit of a bad day. Yeah. Uh, and, and importantly, I can actually um, I can pick the animations. <laughs> which is, is how. That, that, yeah, this this is this, this face is what we, what we saw before, right? exactly yeah. um which you know there's there's a lot frank <laughs> wait so what do these animations look like in blender they look great they look great um, okay so this, they, these distortions were not <laughs> like and, and and the eyeballs the oh eyeball God. is in the correct spot as you can see so oh, are, so are the ears <laughs> speaking of cronenberg <laughs> right yeah, yeah. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot to love about this, but uh, <laughs> man, I don't think we should put it in the game. Okay. Uh, and, and so notably, um, I don't, oops, I don't fully understand um, all these components yet. But like, the the working dog comes in with a whole bunch of normal shit, and the broken dog comes in with a whole bunch of like incredibly convoluted rigging. So, there's must be something about there, some, there must be something, something about this right. asset yeah. that just Unity doesn't like, right? Yeah, or, or or the way it's animated. I wonder if we can like. I'd love to bring it. I'd love to bring in the rigging without the animation, and then try to animate it ourselves on the Unity side. I, I don't know. I feel like there's maybe a couple options. Um, you know who would know is Steve would know. Oh man, let, let's get him in here. Yeah. We'll get Steve on to help him fix our busted son. I I would love that. Um, Cause yeah, the actual animations are great. Yeah. How do I should I forgot how to switch them over here? But I can switch animations. Oh yeah, here we go. Like oh yeah, these, he looks great. These are these are cute. Yeah, the sit the sit is very cute. I would love, like I can't tell you how much I want this sit animation to to play when like the dog idles that'd be amazing yeah but sadly it won't it won't happen today um we could we could try a couple other like maybe we could pull some other um we could do the tank model uh, let's see what we got yeah do you have any other um 
Do I have any other CG trader models? Because I'll do it. Well, we've got that. We've got the. We've got the kind of low poly tank that I think was a good model. Was that off CG Trader? I think it was. I think it was. Yeah. Or we could get like a cool mid-century chair. I mean, only if it's animated. Ah, uh, where are my purchases? There we go. So I think I just got these two. So maybe the tank was free. Was free. Which, annoyingly, it doesn't list. <laughs> it it doesn't list any of them. Uh, maybe we just we just downloaded them without marking them somehow. Yeah. Um, low poly tank. Let's pick a new one uh, and see what. These are far too poly full. Free. Too many polys. Yeah, I think it was, that was that was the one. That's that's our little friend. Yeah. Um, like character or enemy. Uh, so let's see, rigged, animated, no, no. So we won't we won't get either out of this, which is too bad. Um, that is too bad. But let's. I think I can. Let's get a rigged tank. I mean, this sucker. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. And it's and it's Russian. Probably rolled up in on Berlin one day. <laughs> Is this World War Two? I if it's USSR, I would say so. Yeah, yeah. you only you only get uh, one one war with those tanks, right? There were some tanks I want to say in World War One, but they but were not probably from, not really from the old. USSR. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. In the USSR World War One, I, I feel like. The USSR just had a bunch of peasants, right? <laughs> that they just threw, threw into a field. Did they even? Was there a USSR? I, no, I mean it was. It was. It was a. Uh, it was the other thing, the in between. It was the yeah. It was the 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 last vestiges of the Russian Empire, and then they yeah. dissolved in the middle of the war, basically. Okay, this this is rigged as well. Uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be really interesting to explore rigging inside is there like Unity. A cool looking tank that we could use <laughs> actually that one was really cool the stubby looking one this yeah this, this is a fun little guy yeah, right i like this one i like this one yeah okay uh whatever yeah. sure okay rigged um i mean we're paying really... nine dollars a month in netlify for metrics that we don't read so <laughs> we can spare a little bit for this tank I, that seems reasonable yeah. yeah i got that bill you got that bill today i got that yeah we today. should turn it off i think uh we don't need it right yeah, yeah. we don't need it right now Okay. Maybe when we start really uh, trying to amplify SOE and et, et cetera. Fair, fair enough. Yeah. Um, you can. I'll, I'll switch. I'll switch modes to talking heads so you can do your thing. Thank you kindly. Yeah. All right, switched. Great. Two viewers in chat. Nobody's saying anything in the chat room so far, but we'll see. Oh, maybe they're just waiting to steal my credit card. Too late, suckers. Talk to us. Talk to us, people. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you staying co staying cool? What games are you playing? I am very curious what games other people are playing. Did you see that there's a uh, a Ghost of Tsushima? Oh, dude, I saw that this morning. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Director's cut, they call it. It's Director's like, cut. Take my forty dollars and give me the PS5 version. It looks good. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm like I'm a little <laughs> grumpy. You know what? We could we could return to our beagle too. I feel like we weren't we couldn't get this. I don't think we knew what to do with this guy. Sorry, let me switch back. You done? Oh, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, the beagle. Yes. Yeah, he's good. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna download both. Okay. Uh. Down. Down. Okay, I can't download from the page, but I can from here. Great. Thanks. Uh, okay. Maybe it was that this wasn't a blender thing, but it's an FBX. We can we can work with the FBX. Yes. That should be that should be enough. Holy crap! Okay, so this one is one FBX per Beagle wipe ass FBX. All right, right into Unity with you. <laughs> I think this might actually be the one of the most complicated pieces of Unity that I'm gonna have to learn is the whole animation asset handling. 
Like, mm. what does it mean to have multiple FBXs for the same object, yep. basically? I'm, I'm just going to report a bug with Beagle White Pass. <laughs> Let Unity deal with this. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, this is the first time. Do you really? Uh, oh, my gosh. Look, you're Unity. I don't actually want to report this bug anymore. This is too much work. Yeah. I hope, I hope you're listening, Unity. I'm going to try that one more time. Okay. Because perhaps the bad dog corrupted our good dog. Dean would hate me for saying that. Um, but we've also got the micro tank, which is comes with a Unity package. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, I like that. What does that mean, a Unity package? Uh, does that mean it's like optimized for Unity? I'm hoping it means that there is something. I mean, let's. I can drag it in here. It's yeah. from 2011. Holy cow! Okay, so there's a shader, there's a material and a tank. Yeah, okay. bring it in. And it comes in. Oh, this is cute. And if I animate you, so oh, no animation. It is rigged. ESK says, if you add enough fields to your bug report form, the project will no longer have reported or have reported bugs. That is totally correct. <laughs> well, okay, I don't know. It, it's it's rigged? Question mark. <laughs> Wait, so it's rigged, but there's no actual animations in it. Uh, or is it just really that... old? Well, it's a good question. Mm. It sure, it sure looks really old. I don't think this thing is H4K at all. Yeah, those textures, my god. But what is my orbit? There we go. I mean, it's a cool aesthetic. Yeah, I mean, if we scaled it down, it'd probably look okay. Yeah. It's I, just that our I mean, grass is making it look bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be real. It doesn't. It doesn't hold up next to this sweet pup. But yeah. oh my gosh. What is drag? Uh, there we go. Yeah, I actually learned that if you hold down, uh, I, th I think if you hold on right click, you can use WASD to fly around. Right. Oh, come on. Yeah. Hell yeah. Whoop, it's very fast. Uh, OK, so this tank is not rigged. There's an interesting shader on it. OK, let's, let's bring back Beagle Poop. It's gonna crash the game. Cool. So the beagle is just straight out. If we open it in Blender, what happens? That is a great, great question. I'm 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 told that this particular issue, uh, like loading assets uh -huh. and dealing with file formats, is like the uh -huh. single hardest thing in any any game engine. I'm I'm thrilled. I'm so. Excited. Do you remember how we spent all that time writing uh, GLTF parsers and that kind of thing? Oh, I do. We actually did a pretty good job with it because it didn't crash our game when we, we loaded our assets. You know, that's a great point. Okay. So what is what does this do? Wait, yeah. let me let's delete this cube. So ESK, it's been a lot, been a little while since we've seen you in the chat room. Uh, we are we are now experimenting with Unity. I want to zoom. Ugh. Oh, you're trying to zoom in 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 Unity or in Blender. Yeah. Gosh. Ah, man, we I really need some. Uh... Okay, sure. So this animation has a ton of dead frames on it. Interesting. Seems kind of busted. How old are these um, uh, assets? I'm curious. I mean that's that's a good question. So is that this is him pooping? This is the poop animation? I believe I believe this is the dog Scooty and Spot on the ground. Oh okay, yes. Which like Oh sure. yeah, this is the, the the kind of wiping its butt kind of animation. Yeah. This beagle this beagle is very feature complete is what I'm uh what I'm learning. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so silly. So yeah, uh, the only thing I do know is that in Blender you can 
sometimes the end of the animation can be too far. So yeah, it's okay. So let me let me toss this, uh, and let me. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. I have made. <laughs> is he giant now? Is that is that what I'm seeing? I think the dog is giant. Can we zoom out? Can I want to see his full? <laughs> Whoops. Huh. Whatever I deleted. It was very important to the dog's continued existence. Okay. All right. I am going to import. How much? Like, how much Blender are we going to have to learn in order to just not destroy things? <laughs> you know, to just like not knock all the pottery under the ground. Ooh, Six I know. months. It's a lot. We're going to need to become Blender experts. Yeah. And I welcome my well. new Blender overlords. Yep, 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 yep. Same. That's that's why I got this fancy 104 key Apple Magic keyboard, so I can have the numpad. <laughs> so how do I? Uh, yeah, actually, you might you might have convinced me on that. I would like to focus on this beagle because now I've zoomed too far. Uh, so if you click on the beagle, huh? I actually knew all these hotkeys at one point. I know. Me too. Me too. Uh, view, okay, object. I feel like I'm getting there. No, no. Uh, yeah, there's like a view hotkey. Is it hold, 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 hold back tick? Hold back. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, view select. Oh yeah. yeah. Brilliant. All right. So yes, this dog... says, I'm pretty sure by Blender expert for most people means a person who can use Blender. <laughs> yeah. So the learning curve is going to be steep. Yeah. So, all right. If I delete these two extra points, does the dog still wag its tail? It does. So there's just extra shit in here, which is always what's weird. Mm. Well, these file formats have to be so complicated that it, it must take a, a, a fair amount of discipline to keep them tidy yeah exactly and I think that's i'm correct. guessing that people who are uploading to cgtrader.com don't necessarily have a consistent dedication I mean, to I, minimalism and i can't and imagine that it's like their their primary raison d'etre right <laughs> um selected objects okay so i'm basically re-exporting this with the secret sauce okay uh i would love if his face was this distorted the same way it would it would it would, it would I, add a nice symmetry to the day gosh i'm pretty sure those are just the bones uh esk says blender expert means people who can use blender yeah that's true all right come on are you a dark mode God. person um not like all the time nah I, I like light mode. I'm in light mode, but Unity is in dark mode. And Blender is in dark mode. I really can't explain it. I that's don't how think I That's how they ship. Ah, okay. For some reason, I like my source code in dark, but I like everything else in light mode. Hmm. Sometimes I like my dashboards in dark mode. I mean, they look really cool in dark mode. I think that's the key. Yeah, I'm talking about like, you know, the time series like Graphite or Grafana. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, microphone dashboards are dark as hell. Yeah. But then every once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll run into somebody who uses the light mode in Grafana. I'm like, oh, that's nice. There's there's nothing wrong with light mode. Dark mode conjures up the idea of the you know the programmers that that, that literally sit in the dark and write code. Have you met those mm -hmm. people before? Uh, I've heard of them. Yeah, they exist. I know them. They do. They do. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I just want to point out. The dog, dog is great. Tongue. The dog is great, except for its incredibly overwrought tongue. Um, Dogs have big tongues. They do. They do. It's true. I don't think that's the animation we were looking for. Mm, a little. But that is that. That's closer. That's, that's a good animation. Yeah. Oh. And and uh, that's mm. well. <laughs> I mean, this is the one. 
hey, you know, Unity has a store. Maybe we can find assets on Unity. No oh, shit. Okay, that's a much better idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got you got me this there. This stream um, has become Jeff and Dom buy suspicious <laughs> digital assets online. We're we're like there we're like two steps away from like investing in NFTs. Ah, uh, you just, you know just how to break my heart. <laughs> the asset store has moved. Please take me to the asset store. Good God. Uh this is some Steam bullshit, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Wait, wait. The, you you actually clicked on the asset store button in the Unity app, and it took you to the wrong thing. Uh, it took me to a oh. web page that said you were trying to access the wrong thing. Yeah. I I don't think anybody can do the web. Okay, well, like we were t- we were talking earlier about how how Sony is totally screwing the pooch uh, with their entire online strategy. Oh, what what are they smoking, man? I'm turning on dark mode. Okay. <laughs> it asked. Yeah, I know. Uh, dog. I'll take it. Holy shit, dogs. Uh, yeah. free? There's can a corgi. A free... What? Let's see what's free. Oh, oh okay. wow, weird ones. Um, uh, the corgi's pretty good. Corgi's pretty good. Uh, hey, our, our buddy's right there. If you go back, is it the oh, same one no, that we saw? No way. Dog Where? beagle. <laughs> Shit, man! It totally is that tongue. I is I know that tongue. Anyway. I, I bet it's from 2011. Uh, it says 2018. Do you think somebody t- bought that from CG Trader and then just imported it into the Unity Store? They could have. Um, wow, this is live 3D in my browser. That's actually really sick. <laughs> oh, it's like WebGL going on right now. <laughs> yeah, good. Jo- I mean, Unity's Unity's got its. Um... I don't know if you should spend ten dollars on another dog. Dumb. I mean, it's a good dog, but it's a good dog. I'd rather you spend ten dollars uh, on a tank, but as I, as I say, let's let me just let's just peruse the free assets. Okay. Because we don't even we don't even know what these things do. Yeah. Uh, 3D free. Those are both both probably good. Yeah. Um. I, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this low poly starter pack. That's sick. Okay. That looks yeah. great. Those trees look awfully yeah. familiar. But they'll probably maybe they have a nice wave in the breeze. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Unity website. You are allowed to open Unity. Oh goodness. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. What the fuck? <laughs> what did Unity download for me? Uh, you haven't okay, downloaded cool. them yet. I think you have I to see. click the little download button. But then you can have like cool naked man T pose. I say it's not it's not this little download button it's this little download button. This is so confusing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe that icon just means it's saying that it, it is a download. It's down download a bowl. Gosh. I can install a voxel engine. That's cool. Okay. What like what strange sorting has this given me? Um, I was gonna, I'm gonna get a couple more assets. Real yes, quick. I can't agree more. He's they they ask what is this UI honestly, <laughs> and they had to send me to the web for this. Uh, yeah, what else have we got here? Erasing We've got a mod a modular first person controller. You know, oh, you and I were supposed to at one point both build tanks in 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 Blender, but I think that Blend- there are maybe some more modest goals that we could do, like build a car. Blender's hard. Yeah, Blender's really hard. <laughs> um it's cool though there's there's a lot of nice low poly stuff showing up so yeah. i'm hoping for i mean there's a car there's a city there's this dude there's a bunch of naked people <laughs> what more do you need for your game than a car a city, a city and, and naked people yeah yeah a couple a couple good zombies who doesn't need a good zombie Ah, uh, bodyguards. So I want like a vehicle that's not a sports car. I'm asking a lot. I know. I'm the pickiest fucking Unity. Yeah, free like like, like a minivan maybe. Oh, there's okay. more poly cars. I like the yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah these are good. These are really these are good. good. Cool. Yeah, you can be a Mini Cooper. You can be a semi. They have a they have a van. They've got a van. They, they have a van. Exactly I'm all about. 
All about my bus. Hey, we got a cop car in here too. We can we can, uh, we can shoot the cops. They they can be the bad guys, yeah. Oh yeah, police car, helicopter. These are all getting have committed a to our repository, aren't they? Uh, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. As I say, we only have. Who, who knows what the future holds? There's a chibi there cat. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna, if it's animated, let's. I want it. It's a weird looking uh, cat, but kind of. I kind of hate it. it. Oh, you can see its bones. I can see the bones. It's got a um. It's got this a weird, is actually almost cool. like, what do I want, what, like, slow Loris face? Or... Yeah, the, there's some there's something I don't like about the face on this one. Yeah. Um. Okay, yeah. rejected. Sorry, cat. I, I think I'm gonna Not reject sorry. that. It's it's interesting. Well, I would take it. I would take it as a rigged example, and I wonder actually if I can. <laughs> basic bandit. <laughs> he does look pretty basic. <laughs> Oh my gosh! He's that's, got... that's one. That's one basic bandit. Yeah. You know, he likes reality TV. He's not ashamed of it. Listen to great. Nickelback. Wow! Wow! You your your image of basic is spot on, and I, I love it. <laughs> this this is worse. So yeah, it's, it's a it's a downgrade. There's a rabbit. Did you see that? I saw the rabbit. Uh, the, the rabbit looked. The rabbit looked like kind of. Oh no! I went back and I went back fourteen pages, all at once. God what if you go to view me. results and then like change that number to a thousand? Is that possible? Ah, oh, Jeff, you're so smart. So smart. But now I need to go to like page at least four. Okay. Hello, insectoid crab monster. Uh ooh. I mean that's that's really rad. Well, how's this for oh, I love it. Get in the game. So gross. <laughs> Dean Dean's gonna come back and the dog is yeah, gonna Yeah, it's be gonna insane. be the opposite <laughs> of what he wanted. But some you have to evolve, right? A animal. Let's let's just see what we got in terms of animal. Farm three. animal set. These are not three D. Oh, they're sort of 3D. These are very... I love this cow. It's just like... Ver vertex colored. Ooh, Amazing. They're definitely not animated, right? Uh-uh. Yeah. The fox is pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oop. And let's see. It's it's a real 3D model. It's a great start. Come on, web browser. You can handle this fox. Oh. oh, yeah. He's kind of ripped. This fox. <laughs> this is cool. A little idle animation, a little jump. Got some run, got some run. Oh, yeah, dude. Now we're. <laughs> oh, cool. Run left and run right, because actually we maybe do want to. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Actually, like. I work with this sucker. Yeah. Do you think they enhanced the fox in Ghost of Tsushima director's cut? I mean, it's a it's at least a two K fox now. Yeah. He was a good fox. I liked the fox was, in Ghost of Tsushima. It was a good fox. You I like. Did fox. you did you do the one mission where you had to avenge the foxes? Because that was actually really great. It was fucking dope. And then like their yeah. family members come and help you out. I felt I I had some I felt very strongly about how, how great that entire experience. That game was, was actually probably. I, I think of that game fondly, but it was probably even better than I remember it. It just it was just derivative enough and samey enough that like it kind of like I couldn't think of it I as mean, like what? my favorite game in the world, but like <laughs> There's just like I don't I don't need much. Yeah. I should give you the Assassin's Creed Valhalla disc. I I'm kinda bouncing off of that game a little bit. There's something about the, the camera view that feels a little bit nauseating to me oh yeah if you're done with it but i'm going to take it on the road with me so uh oh. if you can if you can deal without that for a minute i think then i might sure. be able to yeah okay i'll yeah i'll take it off your hands all right import fox import insectoid crab 
we're doing the insectoid i'm sorry it's yeah. great yeah low poly cars we already got i'm gonna import them too but i'm gonna yeah. do low poly nature as well yeah um i'm gonna close this web browser while well, the insectoid crab is 50 megabytes okay <laughs> insectoid crab monster typically seawater based but let your imagination run wild okay thanks <laughs> thanks for the guidance <laughs> Uh, all right, so we'll we'll just we'll just start here. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have we have animations. These are separate from. Cool, 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 cool. Fox has a bit of a jowl going on. Um, I just want to note that this is the least fucked up model we've imported so far. <laughs> Shout out to Fox model. <laughs> <laughs> for not yeah, being the, fucked up the the fox is doing pretty okay so so we have a prefab fox there yeah, we have a prefab fox should we use that probably i mean uh get sure. get over here wow big old guy yeah he's a big fox probably needs to be about okay. half as big but um uh yeah so i actually what i'm gonna do is i want to edit the player prefab is there a player prefab? There is. Uh, yeah. Great. And then Fox. Well done. Very clever. Thank you. See a dog. Bye. So my understanding is that we, okay, yeah, I mean, this thing, this thing is there. Um, my understanding is that we need to trigger animations for just like every Everything. fucking case. Yep. Um, so Unity trigger animation. Uh, animation controller that's interesting oh shit okay um i've seen this ui before okay so we want the animation window oh boy uh prefab Okay, well, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I wonder how different this is than relative to Blender. 2D, to, 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 to 2D animation. Because in 2D animation, it's all like coming to me in like horrible flashbacks now. Um, <laughs> what we did is we did state machines. So like if you're, you were in a particular state, upon entering that state, you would trigger a particular keyframe animation. Um, mm -hmm. and you could either change the animation state based on something that happened in game logic, or you could let the animation run to a particular frame that had some kind of metadata marker on it, like a trigger marker or something like that. And then that would signal to the game that you should change state animation state to a, to a, a different thing. Just interesting. Um, so essentially it was very laboriously kind of like hand scripted in code. What do we want? The, what do we, what? Which animations do we want to use? I was I was hoping to just have idle idle to walk feels like a great start. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think what we want then on in the fox in the player script is to have an idle state and a walking state. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. That Actually, it doesn't sense. need to be that complicated. If because like. Right now, all of our motion is based on button presses, and so if the buttons are being pressed, just play the walk animation. Oh, but you need right. to figure out to not replay it from the first frame. If right, it needs it started. needs to be. So you do need a state machine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I added I added animation to this thing, and it's not not quite what I expected. So let's just toss that component. I wonder if it actually needs to be on the fox itself. I was animating the wrong thing. 
Hmm. At this at this point, I'm just an, oh, adding so animation. Oh, so the fox is a sub. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe we need to actually. How do we move all the components on this thing up one level? Hmm. Oh, um, well, hang on a tick, because if I toss this, the fox came with an animator, and it's looking for a controller. So a run, what is a runtime animation animator controller? Runtime animator controller. I wonder if this is something that we can hand it via our game object. Holy shit. <laughs> it's not exactly self evident what's going on just reading this, right? Mm -mm. Do you like that Unity editor dot animations dot animation controller dot create animation controller at path? <laughs> I'm I'm just thrilled by it. Oops. And runtime animation controller is the child class of this. Is that do I understand that correctly? Yeah, it's the same. The runtime representation of the animation controller. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Let me, let me pop up the. Uh... Can we just add a component that's a that's an animation controller and see what happens? That's. That's kind of what I'm wondering, yeah. Um, this does not contain scripts and animation controllers except simple animator controller for demo scene. What's my demo scene? Oh, hello. Sure, save my scene. It is so wild to me, the multiple scenes concept. Okay, so this great. This is this is an interesting start. Fox animator controller. The fuck are you? Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Okay. Right. So this is literally just stepping through every animation. Is this animator controller like in the scene somewhere? Um I believe that. Oh, I see. It's just it's not a game object, but it is referenced by. It it's an asset that we attach. Yes. Okay. To the component. Yeah. Okay. I can I can work with that. That's not mm -hmm. that bad. Um, great. So let's go back to. Let's go back to our prefab player. And let's add. Okay, so we're. We need to change no, scenes, put, don't we? Uh, oh, I thought I did, but I'm, I'm just going to put um, our things in raw assets real quick. Um, nope, I didn't change scenes. You were totally right. Unity. OK. There we go. Good old Fox. I'm going to rename this to like main scene. I'm sorry. Sure. <laughs> you can't handle renaming the thing in the thing. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Love it. All right. So I'm going to create a new folder uh, called animators, because that seems to be a top Did level Did we start object. using 2021? I thought we were using uh, 2020 for a while. Uh, I, I, start, I was using LTS, but you picked the beta version. And then I couldn't downgrade the project. Oh, fuck, sorry. I, 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 I don't I don't even know which version of Unity because I have multiple versions of Unity installed. I mean, I I'm I'm down with it. Like, live on the edge, man. I don't want to live on the edge. I want to live I mean, comfortably. Per, perhaps these are the bugs. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm giving I'm giving our player. Oops. 
our player fox prefab gets the player animator controller. Save. Okay, cool. So that that's just attached to that now. Okay. So then if we if we go in here, wait, how did you create the player animator controller again? Uh, it's totally just created. Oh, you just animated. created a new one. Okay, got it. Perfect. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's one of it's one of our our many game objects. Okay. So, um, create state empty, and then the motion is going to be idle fox idle idling. Mm -hmm. God, this feels like uh, interface builder so deeply. Um, see if there's anything that's looping about this. That all looks like it'll work. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, all right. hey, cool. And it just plays the idle while you're moving. Is that the idea? Uh, yeah. Okay. Right, right now. So there is there is no transition out of idle. So let's. Oh boy, I can. I'm. <laughs> Visual editors are fun. <laughs> These are my favorites. Option drag. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be. I mean, we only have one speed, and it's run. So run, run, and run in place is interesting. I. I think we want run in place. Does run actually move the model relative to the registration point? That's that's my guess at the moment. I mean, let, let's let's start there. Actually, that that's we'll know if we hate it. Um, moving. Okay, we have a bunch of options, and then we have. Wow, okay. That's freaking cool. So you actually, oh my God, does it, it'll tweet the animations? That's really neat. Yeah, it, it blends them. I mean, it, it, I think you can actually have multiple animations happening. At, that's why there's like a solo mute, a solo mm. mute thing. It's like it's like mm -hmm. a, a digital audio workstation. It it really is. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, can, Okay. Uh, so, okay. Okay. Cool. Um, add behavior. I can I can put scripts on this. That's cool. Okay. And I think oh I've I've done this before. There's a way to have a variable in here that we can set, which would be really great. Um. It on the fox. Nope, wrong animator. Okay, I want to know how to add add parameter to. That's no, close. Unity animator. Parameter section of the animator window. Oh, it's right here. Cool. Nice. Uh, cool. Okay, so bool uh, is moving. Okay. And then this is going to be is moving true and is moving false. Transitions back. I see. So this is this is essentially building the state machine visually, and it's basically defining yeah. what the transition conditions are. That seems to be correct, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and I wonder, I wonder what, I wonder what happens for like left to right, for instance. Like, do we basically transition from moving to turning, but everything transitions back to idling if necessary? Some something like that. I can, I can imagine yeah. this gets very complex. You'd have to define a condition when you're done turning. And then also a cancellation mm -hmm. of that as well, right? Mm -hmm. So, so I believe if I if I check this, we're gonna the the parameters on, so we should immediately transition into running. 
it's my guess. Yeah. Uh, and perhaps, perhaps the fox will run off the screen. Indeed, it does. Wait, when did you check it? Uh, so it's checked as it's checked as the default. Okay. It's a bull. Um, and I think did it just play the full idling cycle and then go into it? It did, yeah. Um, yeah, which is really interesting. I think what we want is. I mean, we want to. We basically want to break into moving as soon as that Im variable immediately. Changes. Yeah. Um, so not a fixed duration then. I th I think it has exit time. Okay. Because we want to, we want to, we want to return as well. I am gonna turn this into run in place because yep. your intuition is what, correct. We've seen what run does. Uh, it's a very interesting animation. Why would it? I wonder what the point of that is. Maybe maybe for an, a background character. I don't know. So that looks like it's going to play the whole animation. Oh, I unchecked it. Let's. No, that. <laughs> that's interesting. That's um, right. Well, the. This change persisted after I stopped playing the game, so that's fun. I noticed that. I think asset modifications will persist. Some of them do. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that is that is instantaneous. Okay, that's great. great. Uh, console, go go away. I want to get rid of this bar. We're good. I swear we're good. Just just chill. Oh well. Um, okay, so now I think what has to happen. Uh, apply. Oh, uh, I remove the component. And I'm going to apply it to the prefab. That's cute. Okay, so we have the player mover script. And let's edit that. So I think this is what's going to set our thing. Yeah. Um, how the, the fox is like a sub game object. Is there a way mm -hmm. to move? I guess it's it's like it's it's a package, so you can't kind of like. How do you how do you get like? Or can we move some of this stuff up a level? Or is that not necessary? I mean, that's... It looks like they, they actually construct game objects for every little piece of the fox. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we can... Interesting. Okay. And and also interesting, like, doing doing one of these seems to move... Like, I... Okay. Yeah, I can I can take the pelvis away. Yeah, but you're then moving it moves the leg. Every, yeah. Yeah. I, and actually... Whoa. That's pretty cool. I love I love everything about this. <laughs> Nothing weird happening to this fox. So is it going to animate like this now? Do you remember what the original parameters are? Uh, I don't, but it doesn't seem to matter. Uh oh. Uh, I can also control Z this sucker. I I wasn't sure that the undo buffer was going to going to persist. I, it's very, it's been yeah. it's been pretty good so far. Okay. I'm, I'm just th throwing that out there, uh, but but I hear you. I hear you. Um, but yeah, uh, I think maybe the question that we're just trying asking, to reference the, chi the children, right? Exactly. Oh, you're just going to actually create a, a property. Uh huh. Runtime animation con animator controller. Animation controller. It's not auto completing. Nope. Mine is mine is unhappy. Um, animator. Weird, huh? Yeah. It might just be game object though. Hmm. That is possible. Well, let's just let's see if it ex let's see if it gets exposed on the script. Mm hmm. So what's interesting about this is it can't just be any. Right, it has to be it the fox. It needs foxes. to be the one that's on the fox. It can't just be the asset, right? 
I see. So, so actually, it's public um, game object. Um, Fox, yeah, player. Fox. And the animatable player, yeah. And then we're gonna get the animation controller yeah. component game object, off of that. I believe is capital G capital Cap o. o. Thank you. Capital G. Hmm. Yeah, lowercase G is the uh, the local variable game object. Gotcha. So in the player prefab, are, are, are all these changes being made to the player prefab? Uh, they're make the not. Oh, okay. Oh, but we can commit it, I guess. It basically. Well, so I've modified the script, which is interesting. Um, and the script is not part of the prefab. And then I can apply this change to the prefab. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that is that. And then... Uh, var animator equals get com oh. Do we do animatable player dot get component? Yeah. Um, is the is the animation controller actually a component? Where did we associate that? It's the animator, mm. right? So we want to get the animator off of that. Great point. Yeah. And then does the animator allow you to set parameters on it? Yeah, OK. Uh, let's see. Get component animator. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Uh, animator.set float, set pool. So this is animator.setBool. What tabs are you using? Uh, is moving true? Could it be that simple? It could be. I wonder if set bool is just setting the data value or if it's actually applying changes at the same time. And in which case, you would only want to set the bool the first time it changes. We'll see. Oh, OK. We'll see. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I see what you're saying there. Well, no, no compilation errors, which is a great start. Yep. Um, I think it might start off running because I left it that way now. Holy oh shit, Jeff. God. Holy shit. That's awesome. I love it. We don't need no turn left or turn right. Bullshit, but this is a great start. Right? I'll amazing. do it with the game. Yeah. The gamepad is much smoother. Um, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I mean, that actually, that feels great. It's great. OK, so one of the things that's making WASD feel like garbage yeah. is is the snap. You want to be able to turn. You want you want it to be able to turn around. Yeah, and I can like, like that, that really shouldn't be possible. And on the analog stick, it's a lot harder to make that like snap motion while you're doing it. It at least feels. Yeah. Feels better. Huh. That's so neat. <laughs> so much better than our sliding Shiba, huh? I like it. Uh yeah, the the Shiba not no longer sliding is pretty good. Um oh, This is so interesting. Okay. I wonder hmm hmm hmm. hmm. It'd be cool if we could get a directionality from this. Is horizontal actually our left or right? Um, it is, isn't it? Horizontal is like, it's camera relative. That's why you don't have to reverse the direction uh, when the player is turned right. around. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes, K says it's amazing what even simple animation does for game feel. Yeah, right? it's crazy. It 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 does feel much more like a game. Yeah. Now, if only um, this had a particle emitter shooting leaves from the sky. Are you are you asking for no, that? No, no, I'm not. We we, we can do that. I was joking. Okay. Uh, cause you've you've got one particle emitter in here. How does how does that working by the way? So I, I found the particle emitters uh, interface to be quite perplexing, uh, mm. but it is rel. It, it was self-explanatory enough that I didn't have to read about it. I just kind of clicked around the editor and added it in there. Okay. But so the idea is that the bullet hit is actually a separate game object that gets spawned when the bullet explodes, and when it's spawned, it plays. I made a script called like, I think I called it like the basic particle emitter or something like that. And what it does is it just plays the animation that it's, that, that is it, it's attached to and then kills the game object when the, when, when, sorry, when the particle emitter is done. Now it doesn't play the animation, it plays the particle system. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. So I think bullet hit. Yeah, it's just, um, why, why does it show? Okay, so this is oh, interesting. This is the same UI as this, but for some reason, I can have it in my own window. Okay, sure. Yeah, I, I think I use the inspector version, and you have to like un you have to you have to like unfurl a bunch of these other other categories down below to get some of the interesting things. Ah, uh, yeah. So gotcha. mission is yeah. Those all kind of click open. Cool. I couldn't get it to do gradients for the colors. Hmm. I, I, I selected color over lifetime, so it changed colors, but like the color does, doesn't look like there's like a random color range. It's a start color. Um, yeah, is, the, is there a way to, um, oops, did not want to hit play. Is there a way to um, loop the emitter? I feel like I yeah, want yeah, it to- Yeah, you definitely can. There's a looping button. It's a second option from the top. Oh, shit, okay. Gotcha, I guess I wanted that on this part, but that, Makes sense. And can you get rid of the orange bits? Uh, show bound. Like I, I don't know what the, I don't know what the. Uh, Isn't that weird? The orange bits are like maybe the, those are the quads. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's weird that it's showing that to you. I, I couldn't get rid of them myself. Okay. Maybe we can just Google that real quick. Yeah. Uh, that that's actually great. Uh, Unity particle emitter remove. Orange outline, surely. Yeah, there we go. Give me that one. <laughs> Why, indeed. Um, check the fucking gizmo menu. Ah, so much better. Okay. It's funny that this uh, that seems like the wrong fix because you want the system to be selected, but why does that mean that every single quad in the thing is selected that's weird yep I, I got i got questions uh well, let's uh thanks i have the same problem thanks i have the same problem that's i'm curious yeah, i'm curious if there's a better answer too uh yeah i i i think nope. this this solves the problem so but, I mean, I'm, but you I'm kind of want that happier. for everything else, don't you? Well, now now I know where the gizmo is. Yeah. The the I don't understand like that that these are called gizmos really kind of drives me up the wall. But the gizmo to me is the actual like thing you can click and drag to move around in three dimensions. Those other things just seem like toggles and options for the view, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I concur. Okay, great. My mouse just decided that this. I I'd also like to lose this, like that. This is the gizmo I actually would like to turn off. Um, is it possible? Uh, those are just unclick the move uh, in the toolbox. Unclick. Oh, thanks. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Okay. Okay, sweet. Well, that's really cool. Are you, trying okay. to, are you trying to add some zhuzh to the emitter? 
I just I just wanted to I wanted to know what I could even judge. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. My my judge abilities were were light. Oh gosh, we're decorating. I mean, you know what? Whatever. Would it, wouldn't it be great if the, if the ground was uh, not this tiny one bedroom apartment? I mean, it it would be great, but uh, yeah, we can we can do that. Yeah, how do we how do we get like a little a little level in here, right? Yep. There's a tall terrain editor. I feel like. I think that's right. Yeah, Unity's just got that. Um, I mean, wait, hang on. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, but why, so, so why, actually, why I, are there ground models? Is this so you can? Well, probably, probably or? for this shit. Well, so so I have a question, which is, what am I going to collide with? I don't know. There's no gravity on the on anything, so that's true. So now the fox is just floating. Yeah. But at least I can't walk through the tree. Um, oh, so they made the trees rigid bodies, or at least static colliders. Mm-hmm. What I'm hoping is, since since we're using the character controller, the fox should. I mean, it's supposed to go up and down stairs and slopes. I, I'm wondering. It it immediately get actually gets bounced out of. Like I I didn't put it this high up, so that's interesting. Okay. I can't walk over some walls, but I can walk over some others. Does the fox okay. need grab? Does the character controller need gravity enabled in order to be able to walk on terrain, or is it? I'm I'm wondering that, yeah. Because I, I when I used to do walking up hills and stuff, we like gravity was kind of like a necessary part of the whole physics equation. But that was just the way that I wrote it, you know. It's interesting because like we don't have we don't have any gravity based options here, right? Like that is interesting. Okay. Yeah. Is gravity well, assumed? Did we make the did we make the floor? The, is the ground? Uh, it is a mesh collider. The um, oh sorry the that would be the. God, which ground am I working with here? Uh, it's the the okay. other one. Let me let me get rid of this ground real quick. Um, this ground is a mesh collider. But yeah, it's unchecked. What does that mean? Oh. It's a good point. What does that checkbox even do? It seems important, doesn't it? Ah, well, I think I think it means that if I let's see, uh, we, do we have do we have any rigid bodies here? I guess not. Uh, the only rigid body that I'm aware of is is, is the, the bullet, bullet yeah. which is a not even. It's like a trigger rigid body. Right. Okay. A little interesting. Did my whole like exposition on the kinematic options versus static versus rigid body make any sense? Oh yeah, I, Where I, I was like, I kind of, I kind of said like, it, this is the loop that probably it's going over. I thought it was super reasonable. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Stop playing the game. I just want to focus on the fox. Show me the fox. fox. The fox needs to be on the ground. Oh, I like that the registration point is actually zero. You can just set the this. Y. Yeah, just set the zero. Huh. Great. Uh, but yeah, it, it would be great if the if the ground was a little a little more. So I think I still have character controller questions, frankly. Yeah, same. So do I. But uh, it's cool that I can't run through this shit. Mm -hmm. What a good little fox that shoots. Shoots bullets. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Attack animation. Oh, and it can kind of blend, I suppose. I was gonna, I was gonna say if we can if we can blend these, that would be really cool. I mean, is it a is it another layer? I wonder. That's that's because you good can question. you can shoot while you're idling or moving, right? Mm hmm. That's that. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me let me do a transition back and forth here and see. Let's just see how that goes. Um, attack. And then I, 
think trigger is it did attack. Because I believe this will this should unset itself. Did attack. Uh, maybe there is no back transition actually. It just it just finishes. Yeah, that's a good question. Is there a way to, to, to have it just like tra transition back when the animation's done? Yeah, you need blend animations. Because that would be really cool. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, anytime the word tree comes into play, then it's like, oh, God. Uh, what I'm trying to do is too complicated. I mean, this is this is what I want with run left and run, run right. They They've already... Fuck me. Okay. Create substate machine. It's it's too far. <laughs> um, oh, I see. Right, and there's then there's more layers too. Yeah. Gosh. Blend blending additive. Okay. I have so many questions. I'm I'm actually just going to delete delete this sucker. Okay. One one thing at a time. Okay. I would like to read more on that instead of just going hog wild. But I will yeah. leave that trigger in there. Um, God, that's cool. Okay, animator, animator works. What was I trying to do before I fucked off with that? Was it to actually have rotation working? Uh, I think we we're gonna, we we're giving ourselves an easy one and trying to like expand the the ground. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a that's a good one too. Uh, we can. So I think I think maybe one of your questions was like terrain. Oh boy, well it's bigger. It is bigger. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Holy shit! And how is it tessellating the UVs? Um, that's a good, a good. And good you question. can move that to you can center that at the origin. I wonder why it's kind of positioned the way it is. That's weird. Can I center it at the origin? Is it um? Is that a configure? I, I, the thing is, is, the transform is all at zero. Is is the corner? The corner. The, cor the look corner like, is at zero. No, no, it the doesn't corner. Even look the corner. corner's at zero. I don't know. Hmm. No, it's or, there. Or it's just the perspective. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, I would I would love change registration point to center of the terrain, but uh, interesting. Level one. So wait, so I can, I can open up this terrain file. What what does this do? Nothing. <laughs> it's like really excited to open this file for me, but I then but then do nothing with it. Okay. Oh shit. Um. Solve that problem. <laughs> wow. Our dog is so tiny. Our fox is so tiny. And they're one meter. Yep. Okay. Paint terrain. Your brush is a giant transparent brush, I think. Um. Wow, these brushes are large. But I think and, and so. It's, it, it's brushing. It's it's like painting a height of zero, right? Ah, uh, there we go. So cool. Like to see the dog get out of this. Hey, trees. Don't mind if I do. Wait, sorry. Hang on. What kind of trees can I add? Oh, shit. Can I just pick my tree? Yeah, I think you can. Oh, damn. You can add other trees, too. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, too with great many. power, Dom. That's fairly dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Let's add I all see, the trees. I... Forest uh... brush. That's right, ESK. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add. Okay, we can add uh... multiple trees, can we not? Oh my God! Wait, you're totally right. I can just put all. Oh, dude, that's just, really just cool. Put all the trees. Add them all. I want the textured ones. Tree. Okay. 
It'll be a, it'll be like an unholy mix of deciduous and evergreen. Uh, this is a fantasy realm. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have to be historical, man. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it does seem to be not randomizing the trees, though, which is disappointing. I, I know. <laughs> What's the point of adding multiple trees if you're not going to randomize them? I don't know. What Isn't does the weird? mass place trees button do? It uh click place. I want to see you place 10,000 trees. Okay, wait. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to save the scene. <laughs> um Okay, so it's making me pick one tree at a time. Shift click, hold control and click to raise only trees. Okay, mass place tree is 10,000. Go. What? What part of 10,000? Oh, well, hang on. I can't play the game. The I think I think there's just trees everywhere. Oh, you you think it's just like taking forever? Uh, what's Oh boy. Do, do, do. Are you floating in the air now? I am, yeah. I, I climbed up the terrain and then I, I can't climb back down. There, that's, there's, that's fine. Really. There are a lot of trees here. Um, if I pop into the camera and... So, we got some there's, pop in. There's some level of detail issues, I think. <laughs> Oops. Well, does my, does my far plane need to be a little... A little further? No? Oops. I thought that would actually change something, but... uh. Yeah, I don't know. And I only placed them over there. Now you're a flying fox. Whee! Let's place more trees. It placed one tree. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? Ah, uh, um... What's it that? is placing... It is placing trees on the top quadrant oh because that's the one that's selected I'm, right i'm now. like i'm like doing a terrain of trees yeah i think oh man this this that's particular funny. uh why would it be re restricted to quadrants why can't you just have one terrain that like is the size of all four of them can i merge terrain no that's too bad uh, oh wait, multi-object editing not supported. That's too bad. Ugh. <laughs> What's the terrain? Uh, what is the situation where you'd want multiple terrains as opposed to one terrain? I I do wonder that. I think I would like to delete these other terrains. There must be a resize on the on the on the first terrain. I bet. Also, I could just recenter it, right? Like, yeah, it's not like it's it's not like it's too small, right? Exactly. <laughs> um, let's shift click to sample the height, and let's flatten this sucker out again. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's really cool though. Yeah. Um, right. I think I just want like negative thirty two, negative thirty two. And by that, I mean like negative 5,000. It's a big old terrain. Yeah. How, does the terrain have any sense of dimension on it? Like, does it have any? Not really. I mean, like. static checked. What does that tell, mean? Tell me, tell me what this terrain data file is. Oh, it, it must be. Maybe it's in the file. You're right. Yeah. But it's it's just an asset. I mean. All right, let's let's take it over to. Oh God, you I do VS Code. I, it's not gonna. I do want to open it anyway. Oh, yeah, it's Jesus. not very helpful. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't corrupt it, so whatever. Um, yeah, the star okay, the star brush so useful, all the time. I use it. To I mean, make, hey, it's gonna it's gonna be our bounds right to now. To make Civil so. War era forts. Whoa. I mean, whatever. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So can can the dog leave the star? 
Uh, I bet it can. Is is a is a question I have. Let's find out. The dog immediately floats, which I'm annoyed by. And this is too steep. Yeah, too steep for has, too steep for Fox. The character controller is tunable, right? I think you can set its sensitivity. Mm hmm. Gosh, what the fuck? Oh lord. <laughs> okay. Um, the carrot slip offset skin with skin with. What the fuck is that? Mean? Uh, it's how yeah. much I think two two models can overlap each other without moving each other, or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you know what I'm wondering actually on this is the is the capsule for this. It's go. It's going straight through the ground. The height is two. I'd like uh, to see my capsule. You know. You know what I should have turned on is selection out. <laughs> uh, couldn't couldn't we see this before? Maybe, yeah, maybe we it was could. in the prefab editor. I, I I think there's something not showing the. For some reason, it's just not visualizing. It's a gizmo. Thing. Oh, it's a gizmos. There we go. Um, so uh, I think I think what's happening is we are we are bumping oops we're bumping the capsule collider straight out the ground. Yep. Um, which totally makes sense, but now we're not. Interesting. Maybe the skin width is how much it can be in the ground <laughs> without it actually getting popped out. That makes sense, yeah. Nope, oh, still bumped up, right? Uh, but lower. Yeah. Oh man, you weren't kidding about the beep from Wazda. I ain't yeah, getting that like it, mad it's today. It, because it's using that as like hotkeys for the editor. Mm -hmm. I haven't figured out how to turn that off. It's it's a really hard thing to Google for. Ah, uh, that's too bad. I was hoping messing with that would actually do something, but uh... yeah, the capsule's like way out of the ground now. Does the fox oh. have its own rigid body controller in it that we should be worried? So, about? actually, the 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 problem is I was editing the prefab. Oh, not the not the live game object. Okay. So, we didn't we didn't change nothing. Hang on. Um, cool, 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 cool. I forgot to save this. Do that. I guess the radius can be a little, a little rounder. God, this value, these values feel so imprecise in a weird way. Yeah. Um, We're used to typing into a text file. I think that's the difference. We are just like that. I don't know. Okay. Save this. Leave the prefab. Come back here, and the character controller is. Let me reset it. What? I thought I just modified this. That looks good. Is reset maybe not the right operation? Is there some kind of. Um, revert. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Fox is in height map jail, says the SK. Fox is in height map jail. Oh, stay on the ground. Stay on. Yes. Nice. Oh, ah, it can hop over rocks. Yeah. And then, it go, then it doesn't go to the ground again. No. Uh, That's so weird. Yeah, let's Google that. Character controller floats above ground. Okay. Yep. Uh, Unity character controller floating. It sure is. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, everyone's gonna have. Uh... What the fuck? Uh, no, I'm not doing that. I mean, like, we might. <laughs> it's the skin with property. Okay. Uh, I think it's the floating isn't it's not happening the skin width is fine it's just that it's floating after it's gone up a slope yeah that's a good point um, so unity character controller not going back down oh okay yeah uh-huh uh-huh your English is great. This is exactly what's happening. <laughs> I was going to say, that you asked the question, uh, you must apply gravity. What? Wait, we need to do a different move? <laughs> um, we, I guess we could apply gravity, but... Um... It's because it's kinematic. Mm -hmm. Velocity... Well, it's, it's, it's clearly not kinematic because it's moving it up. Why don't you just fucking move it down? What? <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, God damn it. So wait, so Vec3 forward. I don't want to move it with speed. I, well, I guess we're doing that, right? We are. We are. We are. Trip, yeah. Uh, is it just, do I really just change this to simple move? Yeah. Okay. And then get rid of the <laughs> line 15, I think. Oh no, that's actually the orientation. I think we want the keep. Mm hmm Well it let me Let's comment it out and see if we need it. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Oh, you know what's great? The game's still running. It's just gonna it's just gonna do its thing. Oh. Come on, reload script. It well, the fox just dropped to the ground. Um, so let me, let's put forward back in. I think that might've been important. <laughs> okay. Uh, boggles my mind that this will just reload while the thing is running in state. That's right. really cool. Yeah, it's nice. Come on, little guy, you can do it. Um, well, okay. Is he moving at all? No, and I I noticed that um, maybe we don't need delta time. I don't I don't think that's part of this. Okay. Uh, that may, perhaps so perhaps maybe he was moving infinitesimally simple. infinitesimal amounts. Mm -hmm. Yeah wild hey that's cool yeah okay sure 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 well whatever then so what i'm hearing <laughs> is if i go and put i just remember terreno... that we have these giant star walls <laughs> outside of this yeah maybe and it, it makes star me wall. very very excited Do you remember this game this game was really fun i no i never played this game oh uh show me, show me this game you were joust you were two two to four jousting narwhals. Okay. Um but it's vaporwave as fuck. Oh yeah. Uh this this is a very, very fun little party game. It it reminds me a little bit of Needog. It's got it it's of an era. I think like Needog yeah. one was also twenty fourteen, yeah. Or pretty pretty close to that. I I've played them both at the same like house party. Yeah. Um so <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, uh, either I'm we have too this. too many stars or we have a hundred too few stars <laughs> you be the judge i'm i'm committing the heck out of this yes. so i think how is there no pearl and noise terrain generator that's a great question you think that the dog can climb on these hills 
I think the dog can climb on the cells. I think this is the Perlin. Nope. Is this the Perlin noise generator? Nope. I think I just smoothed it out to a beautiful nothing. No. Um. <laughs> Let's see. I think I think the dog. There's can a bit of a noise on... brush kind of thing. Oh yeah, this is cool. yeah. Yep. Noise brush. I love it. Do you watch any uh, anything with advertisements at all? YouTube videos, only, I guess. Only American football. Uh, oh yeah, th I guess this, he... that, that would count actually. Did you notice that Domino's is bringing back the Noid? Um, so I, I, I have, I have heard this is happening, but football hasn't started yet. Okay. Oh my God. Look at this. He, he what, runs what, up what and down cute, walls. What a cute little fox. You know what? I think, I think the just says moves the character with speed, which like, I know, right? <laughs> Dean is going to have a He'll bit live. of a, a bit of a traumatic moment when the she he notices the Shiva is gone, but this is delightful. Is it not? It really is. Um, okay. He's wait, the king what, of the more... world. One more thing that I, I very much need to do is that this controller needs to fully work. Um, okay. I I need to be able to at least shoot. At least at least shoot, but um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. I'm curious about get mouse button down. What? Uh, Unity mouse and controller support. DSK says we already have more realistic terrain than big rigs over the road racing. Which okay, has hang on. Something. Over the, uh, what is this? And <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> you know what? I I feel like, um, wow. Uh, it's not this game, but my brother and brother-in-law who love playing games together. They're like hardcore sim people. Like currently they're playing DCS, which is like one of the most realistic, like crunchy, like flight DCS? simulators. Yeah. Oh no. Like like Microsoft Flight Simulator was not enough for them. So yeah, it like, was not enough. On. Yeah, they needed something. They needed a real F eighteen. Wow. Um, and okay. Uh, but they 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 were once playing together this this like, a uh, Siberian trucking simulator where you like you basically like hauled. Uh, you hauled like very heavy loads through extremely treacherous terrain. <laughs> and it was like wasn't wasn't one of these a free PlayStation game? At I, it some might point? Have, it might have been. There's there's a lot of these on everything yeah, actually. I, think it was, so. I don't think it was this game. Uh, there's like Euro Truck Simulator. That's, that's I think that might have been one, it. Right? Yeah. Um, where you like you like drive Look across Siberia with like logs and then like when the when like your trailer gets stuck all the logs fall out one by one. Oh no. Yeah. One of one of my friends is really into mud runners too. Oh you know it was mud runners they were playing. It was yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Which I guess is like it's it's the hardcore trucking simulator, yes. right? Yes, exactly. You can see the logs I'm talking about already. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh I, I watched them play this. I wasn't even engaged and <laughs> my eyes glazed over immediately. <laughs> like uh I, I drive I drive my car enough. They're they're. You know must how be I told you I didn't now. like the uh, the physics simulation of Outer Wilds. How, like I didn't want a Newtonian physics simulator. Mm -hmm. What I really don't want is Newtonian physics simulator plus mud. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be fair, I put like a hundred hours into City Skylines, so like I love my boring simulations too. You know, what? I I I I'm into a great sim. I I I'm into yeah. It. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, God, fantastic. these the, these like PS2 era graphics remind me of Road Rage PS1. Is okay. this it? Ridge Racer. Road Rash. No. Um. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm thinking of? Rogue Trip. Okay. Which was <laughs> a a car combat. Yes. But also, you have to pick up tourists. It was like car combat plus crazy taxi, what, which for some reason you call was called this gurad shading. Just kind of like what shading? Gu, gu, like I think if you Google gurad shading, G O U R A D. Uh, I think that's just where you have vertex. Yeah, or maybe it's. Mm. 
Yeah, it's vertex colors that are basically uh, where the normals are being interpolated. That, this is a great example of it. Look at all this shit. Yeah, okay. Chocobos, Mario. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm kind of down with it. So wait, is Mario untextured? He is, isn't he? Uh, he he might be vertex colored. Yeah. Yeah. Except except maybe maybe the eyes and the and the hat, but the rest of him maybe not. Neat. That's really clever. Mario sixty four was a great game. It was a great game. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. This is very close to Gurad shading, but it, it's like a combo, right? Yeah. The terrain maybe. There's a little bit of texturing going on there. Red. Whatever the case may be, it looks amazing. Um, okay, wow. My screen is flickering blue. That's very interesting. Um, it's your it's your space age safari, man. That's that's the issue. The stream how, uh, looks great, by the way. Okay, one, wonderful because this doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, the stream the stream does look great. Um, cool. Well, if this monitor is dying or my graphics card is dying, both of those are fine. Yeah. Not as long as the weird. fox is still in, in the game. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what you're looking for is like as long if we're clicking or if we're hitting the gamepad button, shoot, right? That's what you're looking for. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, I'm kind, yeah, button north, button south. I want to like... Are there face buttons? I think that's, I think that's button north, south east and west which is a really interesting way to do that but kind of makes sense oh, the four Be because buttons. yes yeah I but I, I would actually take i would take right trigger yeah um right that, that, that's the new that's the new way to do it mm -hmm. never place never never have your attack button on the face buttons that's so old school <laughs> uh or not so super input so what how it, it is but i kind of like it um so how do i do button control I need a gamepad dot current. Oh boy. Give me give me a little simpler Unity gamepad input. I wonder if it's uh I wonder if you actually like map a couple things to the same input. Yep. Yep, that makes sense. Huh. Well, there's okay, so input get, that get access, and it's just figuring which, out what to do. So you're trying to find a similar kind of abstraction. Is that right? So you don't yeah, to... which 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 we're doing, and it's working great for WASD. Yeah, I yeah. want. So input I guess top. I guess what I want is uh, is this the input manager get access? Oh. Yeah. What are the sibling functions to get access? That that is the question. Uh huh. Input okay. Button. Cool. Get button. Fire one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm into that. Um, and then you have to actually tell that what that is, basically. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Or where are these button names coming from? Default, Default control. is control. Is night shift what happened to me? Nope, screen's still flickering. Uh, mm. Is the game running? No. <laughs> you can quit Unity and it's gotta be Unity. Yeah. Have I have I like overthrown the three D yeah, it might be Unity. Let's let's exit play mode to save. Let's just quit that real quick. Nope, nope, the whole screen is still flickering. I hate it. It's fine. I'm gonna restart my computer after this. Let's just we're just gonna we're gonna make this fire one. Okay. Input dot get button fire one. Uh, and I guess it's still gonna do a little mouse position stuff, but that's okay. Um, I just I just want to be able to shoot with my controller. Yep. But I can I can see I think there's some right axis left axis stuff to do for controller and mouse aiming at the same thing which is interesting yeah i don't we'll see if their abstraction is good generally mm -hmm. i'd almost rather i don't know what i was gonna say 
there's like this is a hard problem i think input, input like kind of trying to abstract away input is difficult yeah absolutely. i think the way that we had it in manchester was good where we uh translated input in one location and then into events and then the, mm-hmm. the logic just consumed the events it's not always possible to do it that way but um i thought it was good no i concur all right let me see let me save this file Please recompile. No recompile? Maybe it did it when it started. Let's find out. I just love that. Oh, wow. OK. Yeah, there's no, the get button down is basically like, it's just basically creating a bullet in the frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sure is. Okay, machine gun fox. I'm digging it. So I can also I can move it I can move with my mouse and hold the button on the gamepad. What is the what are the bullets colliding against? Uh they must be hitting the player, which Oh no, is, they're hitting each other. They're hitting each other? No, they're kind of they're hitting me. Uh I, I have a thing where they shouldn't explode they shouldn't explode if they hit the player. There's a D dupe or there's like a don't don't collide okay. with yourself okay so they are hitting interesting okay so some sort of some sort of like uh uh what do we call it deep bouncing yeah yep or cool down cool down that's what it was okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna put it back to where it was but that was very interesting yeah i learned a thing cool and we're just at time too so that's good beautiful um (laughs) well this is very very neat Awesome. Cool. We got some. We got some terrain. We got some of this stuff. Um, let me see if I, I'm just gonna see if I can make this terrain not, not this. We're um, almost able to do a game jam now. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't that cool? Yeah. I need uh, to learn animation oh. stuff. It seems like it's a giant knowledge gap. But hey, we, yeah. we rose to the challenge with the collision stuff last time. Last time we were like perplexed by the collisions, and now we kind of understand them. I think man we, we we can figure stuff out yeah uh i'm not worried about that i do want to figure out what a physic material is versus a material material a physic material <laughs> oh, it determines how uh collisions get resolved so they can be bouncy or they can be sticky mm, okay uh it has nothing to do with the rendering guess not well i do want to i do want my terrain to look like something too uh we might want to google that then yeah, I think I think I will have to do that. Material. Yeah. Great. Well, I'll figure it well, out. Well, the terrain has no visual mesh. It has a col- it has a like a collision mesh. How well, we apply that? Oh, terrain settings. Here we go. No. Oh, okay. Uh, material. It can just be. I just want it to be the grass. There we go. Oh, we have a lot of materials in here. Photo. Maybe we should give it a real name. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the scale yeah. is a little off. Um, I, I want to point out that the providing material shader might be unsuitable. <laughs> uh, what are the built-in materials? Are there built-in materials? Well, you said we had a lot of materials. Oh, I think some of them are coming from like the fox and shit, though. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we've got like skybox. I mean, we can make it fox, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's horrible! Wow, that is. Anytime true. you see the UV, the, the like, anytime you see the diffuse map, just like straight up, it's just. I awful. think I think this is the chitinous creature. Oh God! There's a dog. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's where it's staying. Yeah, you can never actually get out to the eyeballs. And Jeff, I, I totally you know, forgot. You do not to want to be like here. Icarus that flies floats too high. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are they, yeah, ESK points out they suggested something from nature terrain, which sounds like a built in. Um so we got our dog. <laughs> and we got our crab monster. And we can shoot him. Holy shit. That's the worst. Let's put in some cop cars too. Oh god, it's idling. Ugh. 
Mm. Oh, that's Ugh. horrible. Ugh. Oh, man. I mean, this wasn't originally going to be like a creature killer game, but like maybe I, we just... I'm... I need to delete that okay. <laughs> in particular. I'm so sorry. No, it's hard. No, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, what, what is what is nature? So, oh. Okay. No. It didn't. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. There's a there's a terrain compatible is like a thing for the material shader. That's interesting. I would say that this is terrain compatible it's just the way that it's tessellating it is yeah you got the right idea boom baby yeah uh where's my terrain compatible check <laughs> <laughs> oh man um yeah let's play the game now let's run around in our beautiful grassy grassy yeah. field i will never I'm going to purge the crab monster from my computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's really atrocious. I bet it's got a good The grass is still animation. too big. Can we, can we scale it up by like a factor of yeah, five? Yeah, we totally can. Yeah. Sure. Uh, that's this sucker. Ooh. Yeah, that's some yeah. nice grass right there. That's, it looks, you can golf me, on that. I'm going to go a little... That looks a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I think 500. Yeah, I think you called it. You can do 450. It's a nice little compromise. Split that difference. Yeah, yeah, meet you in the middle. Now, what I want to do is have that be maintained. Uh, it was maintained. Is, oh, isn't it that did. weird? It's, I'm not, I wasn't editing a game object. I was editing a material. Yes. Anytime you edited something that you have selected in the, in the lower pane, including the prefabs, I think we'll get... Rest- Although it's, prefab it's changes real. don't get applied to the game objects, right? Yeah, yeah I'm going to say the grass does not have reflections. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think the non-metallic alpha looks better because okay. it ain't. Whoa. All right. Yeah, whatever. Sick. Dope. Um, okay. Let's run we're around in up. ISO. Oh, Jeff, you're, you're making, making my day here. Ortho, baby. It's going to be great. It's going to look really good. What is the box? I don't know. Oh, the box I think is wow. The grass is too metally or too plasticky. I should make it back to metal. Oop. Uh, okay. Wait. Hang on. Let's let's just tweak some materials. Uh, I was wrong. There. Right, that's better. That's- yeah. Is this a? Are we got like a near plane, far plane thing going on? Is that what is killing us here? Yeah. So I think I think what's happening. Um, uh, what's, I what's mean, more? those settings are pretty good. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, maybe with the ortho at this angle, it's gonna clip no matter what. So I, I guess I can kind of see. Yeah. That's really interesting. I wonder. I wonder how we do that. Can I do near as like? Can I do negative ten? I can. Give it. Give it some extra clipping. Interesting. I don't. I've never done ISO before, so I don't know how to set the near planes. Um, yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good. That that looks like a video game. Maybe in ISO, the near plane is zero, basically. It's but so it's, like ze- it's like zero is right here. I know, right? How cool is this? <laughs> this little guy fucking up the world. <laughs> I'll shoot your walls. You fucking cops. Oh, man. Yep, yep. He's doing it. Um, okay, so real real quick, just while I've got the crab monster gonna, up here. Oh, God. I just, I just wanted to see what other animations the crab monster provided to me, the player. Ah, uh, I see. Um... But it's not ah, fine. I regret all of this. Speaking Those are of, fireworks, are they not? 
they are a thousand percent fireworks. Speaking of not burning down the uh, the neighborhood, uh, someone's someone's, someone's burning not down the not burning down the fire, burning down the neighborhood. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder how to animate this. Okay, um, Avatar, monsters, materials. This is some shit. Yeah, well, I th- I, I see that. Thi- oh my god! Wow. Holy crap. Okay, so there's it's a gotta be bunch an easy way to of... preview these, right? Yeah, I bet I bet there are. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. If I go into, did I already take the crab monster out? I hate you so much, crab monster. <laughs> um, that's really gross. It's re- it's really gross, man. Would you would really you say gross. that you have a, a, a any kind of you know? phobia of bugs or I mean, I spiders didn't. <laughs> oh but you're learning you're learning i'm learning um okay so i, I know what i'm gonna do which it's is kind of a gonna, lobster i guess i'm gonna take the it's animator like lobster tail there i can i can hit animation oh triggers. my god can <laughs> you imagine being stabbed by this horrible thing i don't oh man this really is a really good to. model it's I'm I'm very impressed. Yeah, intimidate. <laughs> Does it have? It has some like sick moves too. Yeah. Oh wait, fucking die. Ugh, gross. Doesn't that make you want to like wrap <laughs> it in a Kleenex and th- throw it into the trash? Yeah, it kind of does actually. Yeah. Eat cycle. Sneak cycle. It can. Sn- oh man. What does the fight idol look like? Does it kind of like hold his hands up like a boxer? Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> I feel like I feel like fight idol is actually it's default oh, okay it's just the idol well i guess fight idol and rest are pretty similar yeah sleep it's almost cute wow somebody did a really good job on this yeah uh, and and i hate them yeah i would uh they, i would they, they would are pass my, my 3d modeling course at uh, university <laughs> They would, but also they are my mortal enemy at this point. Okay, um, yep. Horrible uh, creature. Burn right. fire. Don't, don't, don't commit it to plastic. I don't want to see it. Okay, great. Yeah, I can yeah. delete that. Delete. Cool, but I am... Com- oh, it has, to, it has to uncompile the crab monster. Okay. <laughs> it's like in Tron where it like decomposes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, cool. Well, this game looks a, <laughs> looks a lot more like a game than it did a little minute it's ago. It's incredible. Yeah. I, I actually feel like you're really having a good time with Unity, and it's fun for me to watch. I I like I like uh, that I can have an idea, and then the idea happens. Yes. And that's pretty cool. I'm just going to make a little... Get our gift going. Nice. Love it. All right, sick. It's really just all about the all, all, all about the tweet, right? You just need something. To I tweet. mean, it's the tweet. I was gonna I was gonna text to some friends, be like, look what I made today. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a big gift, though. Um, you know, yeah, uh, Twitter can do uh, movies, right? Don't forget. That's a good point. I should save this as a as a move as well. Yeah. All right, sweet. Well. Uh, Nine ten, let's do it. All right, ESK, thanks again for joining. We'll catch you next time. Oh, yes. are, are we on next Monday, or are you? Oh, uh, what's uh, your sketch? My my sketch is complicated. Uh, I think we are not on next Monday. Let me let's do that. Let's talk schedule right after this. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna propose Tuesday Friday to you next week. Uh, I think that should be totally fine. Okay. Let's, so you're saying let's offset by a day for. Offset by a day, yeah. Ch- check your calendar. Oh, and also, we need to stream from your house because my shit's getting backed up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want to come over? Yeah, 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 that's okay. That's great. Cool. Uh, yeah, that was my other constraint. So, okay. yeah, I, if, if that works, let's do it. I should really work on uploading uh, our archive fi- uh, videos. I hope we didn't, I hope we haven't lost any to the... Uh... We have not. Okay. I've got them. I got them all. Okay, yeah, I, 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 was, I was basically downloading them all every time just as, a, mm-hmm. as a, out of paranoia because last time we lost one um but then we're not even like editing them and i feel like we should catch up if that, if that, if that up, hole yeah. gets too deep it's gonna be 
It's gonna be rough. I have yeah. I have ninety six, ninety eight, one hundred, one hundred one, and one hundred two. What do we have online right one. now? Ninety five. Yeah. All right, so we got our work cut out for us. We got we got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So okay. We uh, we're going offline. All right. See y'all next Tuesday ish. Sweet.